everyone to my kitchen. This is Farmer Corinna and uh, today we are going to teach you a tutorial on how to use a juicer and use vegetables from our farm to make a delicious juice to drink. And today joining me is my special guest Ziad Burkett. Hi everybody. <laughs> so Ziad is a member of our CSA but he is also the owner founder as well mm -hmm. of Midwest Juicery and um, we'll give him a chance to talk about that in a minute. So he knows all about juicing and I thought it was a great idea to have him here to teach this because um, I've never juiced in my life. In fact, this juicer was gifted to me by another CSA member and friend of mine, Cindy Butler, and it's been sitting in my kitchen for about a month and I finally opened it today and we just demoed it to make sure it worked. <laughs> and it works. <laughs> and it does. So we're gonna walk you through, in the next maybe 15, 20 minutes, we're gonna walk you through um, how to make a couple of different juices. And in the process, this is kind of meant to be a beginner's guide, because I am a beginner. I mean, what are the things you have to think about when you buy a juicing machine? Uh, what kinds of vegetables and fruits typically go into a juice if you're just building a basic formula? We're gonna talk about things that you shouldn't. Um, juice with and why and just what the benefits are juicing. So we'll get to all of that, but first I want to give you a real quick chance to just talk about your Midwest Juicery and what it is. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, what are your business all about? How you got into juicing? Cool. So uh, my name is Zia Burka and I'm the founder of Midwest Juicery and we're a Toledo-based business that sells organic cold-pressed juices. Um, they're just pure fruits and vegetables just like you see on this table. Um, and why we got started was to help get more predominantly vegetables into people's diet. Um, so all of our juices are made with just pure uh, vegetables with just a little bit of apple as a sweetener. Um, and we, we got a couple things that um, are really important to us. Sugar is really important, which is why our vegetables are predominantly, uh, why our juices are predominantly vegetables. Um, and we're proud to say that we have the lowest sugar juices you can buy like anywhere. Um, and we have a good price for our product too. So we, it's, it's a really cool business and we're really happy to help people make just little bit steps in their diet uh, in their life to have a little bit healthier diet. Um, and we do that with lots of vegetables. Also. So if somebody wanted to find your juices, where would they go? Uh, they're available at, in Toledo, they're in Claudia's and Churchill's and then most of the local coffee shops like Black Kite, Rust Belt, Maddie and Bella, uh, Sip Coffee, and, and Flying Joe. That's a good one. Yeah, he's got some fun flavors, so you should definitely check them out. Yeah, we have basically some kind of combination of everything you see on this table, just yeah. different proportions, and uh, we'll go through that in a little bit, showing you some bases, some different proportions, mm -hmm. uh, kind of accommodating the juice to what you think tastes good, because, yeah, it's really healthy, but you want to enjoy it too. Right. So, uh, right. we'll do that. And so I went out to my garden and to the fields, Farmer Kirk helped me, and we picked out a bunch of vegetables, so everything we see on this table um, is from our farm, with the exception of the lemon and the apples, those aren't from our, and the ginger, we don't have ginger on our farm. But um, why don't we start out, first of all, by just making a very basic juice, and as we make it, we can kind of talk about some of the yep. other issues that come up. If you have a question during the broadcast, just type it in, Farmer Kurt is behind the camera, and he'll be able to let us know what it is. Since we have an expert here, let's ask him, right? So what, should, what are we going to make first? What's an easy, um, simple thing to start? We can start with juicing just straight apples. Um, I think that's a really easy way because you're gonna, probably going to want apples into most of your uh, juices, just your form of sweetener. Um, you can always use different fruits like pineapple or pear, um, but apples tend to, I think, taste the best. Out of those, they generally have a low sugar content. I mean, they're the cheapest too, and that you get the best bang for your buck. Yeah, so we'll start with uh, juicing some apples, and apples are one thing you have to cut up. You don't want to use the core ideally. Um, it's they're potentially some like hazardous, uh, like pesticides, not pesticides, uh, dangerous. Yeah, toxins. I forgot the term. It's some dangerous stuff yeah. in the core. I, I I doubt it, but it's very it's like a risk thing. So yeah, you should and find. we can keep the skin on. Yep, and you keep the skin on. It's no problem at yeah. all. And um, I noticed when I just when I was researching online, I was talking about how apples are often used as the sweetener agent. That there's kind yeah. of a formula when you build juices, mm -hmm. and uh, usually there's a sweetener in the formula. This is it. Okay, so yeah, yeah you can one. always make your juices without apples. I, if you have you know some uh, diabetic issues, you start, you're conscious of your sugar. Uh, I personally love juices without apples. Um, 
I, like whether you make like a root based one with carrots and beets and stuff like that, or if you want to go greens, you don't have to add apples. It's genuinely just optional. Uh, it just makes right. it taste a little better, and you get a good bang for your buck with that. Right. Too. Okay. So we will start with the wonderful apples. Um, so this is a juicer machine. Do you want to, can you zoom in Kurt a little bit and just show them what are the kind of the different, this is a brand. Uh, this is a reveal. Reveal? Sure. reveal. I'm sure I said that wrong. Okay. Reveal. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so this, there's two types of really juicers. Uh, there's the ones with the blade, it's centrifugal. Um, and the other kind, which, which we make, is cold pressed. Uh, cold pressed is definitely a better way to make a juice. Um, it's healthier in that there's no friction from the blade. Um, but it's, they're really, really expensive, which is why most people don't have them. You can buy uh, an Omega, which has an auger, which is very similar to a cold press juicer, um, in that there's really no heat. It's just using an auger to extract the juice out, and it like separates it. Uh, but those are still pretty pricey, too. Those are many hundreds of dollars. Um, something like this really does suffice um, for home use, especially if you're just going to occasionally juice. Um, and I, we've noticed that this one actually did a really good job. What you don't want is friction. You don't want heat because that's what kills the enzymes at a pretty low temperature, like 118 degrees. So you want something that's going to extract the juice out almost immediately. And when we tested this earlier, it, it really did. So uh, it seems like something that's higher speed that can separate it extremely quickly and not create any heat is definitely what you want to go for. Awesome. So we just, we're just going to turn it on, so yep. throw it in, and then use the plunger yep. to push it through. It's really fast and it's really super loud, simple. too. It's kind of loud. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, are you ready? <laughs> right. Watch out, I feel like I should wear an apron. Go. Say welcome right. to Miss Katie and Dina and Miss Susan Ruff. Do you want to, you can, but I, I don't think it's necessary. Okay. 
So we'll just jump into the next ingredient. Um, let's do some carrots. Carrots, and we should take the tops off the carrots? Yes, you take the tops off the carrots. Um, and carrots juice is phenomenal. I is it? Guys are, it's my personal favorite. Mm -hmm. I think carrot juice tastes like candy. This is another sweetener. Yeah, because yeah. carrots naturally have sugar in them, and so do the beets, which is why um, if when you're doing your root vegetables uh, with like beets and carrots, that's one where you actually you actually would be probably fine without adding apples, just because they have natural sugar in them. Mm -hmm. Whereas the greens can get kind of bitter, which you might see some apple. But again, to your flavor, uh, to your preference, uh, test it out. You'll find something you like, and uh, and you can just repeat from there. And we can use ugly carrots for this, yes. which I did. We do have some damaged ones. So I cut off the bad parts. You don't have to peel. Nope, you don't have to. Um, all right, so. Just jump into the next ingredient. Yeah, so turn it on. We throw them in. Yeah, let's go. Ready? Yep. Get this ready. Oh, we're putting them in first. Go. Yeah, throw them all in. It'll probably be easier. Ready? Go. Katie comments, oh, wow. beet juice is the best and so good yes. for your heart. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. You really, really, really good. Yeah, and the, the green juice, I'm sorry, the green apples are kind of sour, so they go a long way. You don't need much. That's nice. It's perfect. Wow. I love that. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to pour this down here. Yeah. I've gotten more of these jars out. And then... Uh, you want to do a beet? Yeah, let's do the beets, because uh, that's a pretty common... Uh, one of our juices is beets, carrot, apple. Awesome. Um, I have so, so many beets stacking up in my fridge right now. Oh, the so this juices. would be a great way to... So talk about, can you store this? Once you've, once you've made it, how long can you store it for? Um, generally, the, uh, because there's no preservation process, like some juices are pasteurized, some ours are pressure preserved, mm -hmm. um, because there's none of that, deterioration is kind of quick. You definitely want to drink it within three days at most. Okay. Uh, if you have the time for it, your best case is really to drink it within 24 hours. Um, you'll get the maximum nutrients out of it, it'll taste the best and the most fresh. But if you want to make some bulk and make it work over three days, that works too, honestly. And so you could, could you freeze it? Um, I've never tried it. I know, I know if you do freeze it, it does alter the flavor of it. Okay. Um, I personally wouldn't recommend it, but try it. Okay. I only got one beet out. Should I get more? No, is I should be good. Is that going to make enough? There'll be a lot of juice. Yeah, beet juice is definitely a higher yield. All right. So um, these kinds of things will have more yield than, like, say, a leafy green. Which yeah. We'll get to later, we're going to have more juice. Yeah, as you'll see, um, like beets and carrots have a pretty good yield. They, they yield about 50% of the weight. Um, apples are on the higher end. You'll get a, about two-thirds. And cucumbers yield phenomenally, as you'll see. One of the only greens. Um, you'll get probably 75% yield out of cucumbers. So right. um, carrots, cucumbers, and apples are usually what I... If people just want to juice easy, those are three things that are great. Um, they're, they yield a lot. They're fast. Because you can just stick them in as opposed to the leafy greens sometimes fight back. Um, so those are three that I recommend just because you get a good bang for your buck and it tastes really good. All right, let's give these beats a try. That's a lot. That's a lot of juice. Yeah. That's a lot of juice for one beat. I mean, yeah. that, that beat probably weighed maybe a half a pound. Yeah. And we got over... About five ounces of juice. Look how bright that is, too. That's a beautiful color, too. <laughs> right, I wonder so what the golden beets look like. I wish I had try those. I've, I've never had pure beet juice. Yeah? It might be really strong. Oh, that's great. Oh, I love 
you try some? Yes, please. Where's your glass? Right. Oh, yours is tape. That's okay. Alright. No one's doing that. Oh, it's fine. You don't care? No, nah, no. We'll make it work. Thank you. Mmm. You guys all want to go buy a juicer now, don't you? Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> wow. I, oh, right? Yeah. Wow. Honestly, I think a lot of that is just how fresh the beets are. Yeah. That's like, cause I, I think I actually have had pure bee juice, and uh, that's really good. Look at that color, folks. That's just incredible. So we can make a quick little concoction now. We already have the beets and the carrot juice. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, the carrot and the apple. You could throw in a little bit of beet. Okay. And uh, get that to your proportions. That's good. Yeah, it should be good. I feel like I want to rinse that out now. Just making a. Oh, it's perfect. Beautiful. Color. Honestly, it's perfect. It's like the perfect blend of you get the carrots and you get the beets and there's a little bit of sweetness from the apples. That's so talk to me about nutrition here. Like what's the difference? Give me a little bit. What's yeah, the absolutely. difference between okay. I mean is this gonna fill me up if I have this for breakfast? If I have a glass? Is that yeah, what it is will. That what people do? They just drink a whole Yeah, a lot of people uh, two things that are the most common really is to drink a juice as a meal replacement. So it's nice to have them on hand. Uh, for when you're not having time for breakfast, no time for lunch, instead of skipping a meal or eating something unhealthy, ideally not at all, um, you can throw back a juice. Uh, the other thing that I, my personal preference is I drink a juice after a workout. It's a fantastic recovery drink and um, and your body's kind of can, because you just worked out, you can handle the sugar a little bit better. Mm. Um, so I, I really like that. It's something I'll drink on my way home from the gym and then make whatever I'm going to have for the protein source. Mm -hmm. um, so. Those are the two most common, whether as a meal replacement or after exercise. So, is this like a high calorie content type of drink? Not really. No. Um, our beet juice uh, is the highest out of the calories. It's 16 ounces, and it has beet, carrot, apple, um, and then some lemon and ginger. And there's two pounds of produce in each one of those bottles, and it has 200 calories. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. It's less than a can of soda. Yeah, right? it is. Yeah. Way better for you. Way better for you. <laughs> Not so, that I would know how many calories are in a soda. So let's, we'll keep going down okay, this. Um, oh, you want me to rinse that out? Yeah, so yeah. we can see the... We'll keep going down and adding some ingredients that are really good in this type of juice, and then we'll jump over to the greens afterwards. Okay. So what we can do next is ginger, and then we'll do the lemons as well. Um, because our, our combination is beet, carrot, apple, lemon, ginger. So you can figure out whatever proportion of those you like. If there's some ingredients you don't like, some people like ginger. I think it's delicious. Yeah. Um, uh, lemons, lemons are really good because the more acidic your juice is, the more the longer it'll last too. So, adding lemons into your juices is always a good thing because it'll extend the shelf life just a little bit longer. It might add an extra day on there, hmm. or it might make, or it'll, it'll definitely maintain the nutritional value of the juice a little bit longer. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's Take give the plunger. Yeah. Out. Let's give these uh, ginger. A try. So this is this is like a whole thing of ginger. That's yeah. how much you would normally put in. Um. No. Ginger? This is gonna be probably oh. more than we need, but. Okay. Um. Because ginger goes a long way. Yeah, I was going to say that's pretty potent. Alrighty, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> Don't break it. Oh, I smell it. Wow. That's it. And this is enough ginger for many juices. It is potent to say the least. Well, it turned red probably because we have Woo! beet juice yeah. in there. Reminds me it's of taking ginger like, shots. And it's like, it's like PTSD. It's sort of like horseradish. It sort of goes yeah. ooh, right up to your. So if so, I drink this, I'd be. Yeah, I mean, I would. I mean, I drop like really? really not much at all. Katie's probably freaking out right now. She loves ginger. Yeah, she wants all of it. I'll, I'll bring her a ginger <laughs> shot. Look, I'm like, that makes about two tablespoons. Yeah. Oh, oh, probably more, more than that. Three tablespoons. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like juicing a lemon. Yeah, the, uh, ginger are very high yield, and it goes a long way. I mean, that amount of ginger, I'm telling you, could make. Wow. It'd be sufficient for both of those mason jars, full of juice. Wow. All right, give me a little bit of that. You, did you mix it all in yep. together? Yeah. This is good. That's good. That's good. Mm. Oh, yeah, that gives it a kick. Mm -hmm. and yeah. That was just like a, tea, like a tiny little uh, That was maybe like a tenth of a teaspoon. That was nothing. Yeah. I um, like that. So when you put that in your drink, yeah. take a little, just a little. Yeah, do a little bit and then add to your preference. I love okay. ginger. I, I probably put the whole thing into like 16 ounce juice. Yeah. Um, I love the bite and it's so good for you too. So. I'm already learning stuff and look at this. I'm just doing it. I ginger. Can already tell what I've Yeah, eaten. ginger's like a miracle food. Um, it's, It has it. so many benefits. I mean, it has, like, it has a lot of cancer preventative properties. It's really good for muscle recovery. Um, a lot of people that are pregnant will have ginger because it's extremely good for nausea. Mm -hmm. um, and, I mean, you, I could go on yeah. for an hour about yeah. that. If it's 
All right, you said you want to try a lemon next? Yeah, yeah let's give it a try. Yeah, you, you want to actually stick it in there. So okay. normally what I would do is I would say you should, uh, if you have like a lemon squeezer, just squeeze your lemons. Um, You'll get a lot out that way and you won't get the rind. Even though the rind's good for you, it's really bitter. Mm -hmm. um, so you can if you want. I would personally just squeeze them with a lemon squeezer, but let's start with You want to just try it. Yeah, let's start Okay. Let's, right. turn it, I, let's turn it on first. It just seems like it goes through like shock cool. when it's... I'm going to throw the ginger. Oh yeah, good call. I should rinse that out again. Although, I don't know if it matters, it's just going to get... It's all going in the same cup eventually. Okay, so this cool. is the ginger, let's remember that. Yeah, right. Let's not forget that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's turn it on and then I'm going to throw it in. Yeah, I'd probably throw both of was... them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Lemons are a pretty decent yield. Out of every lemon, you'll probably get an ounce and a half, and that's quite a bit of lemon juice. Okay, ready? Yeah, uh, let's throw them in, and I'll turn it on because I don't want any beet juice to fly back. Oh, good, good call. <laughs> Sit here and watch. Oh, we put a lot of ginger in that one. <laughs> I think it's delicious. I can smell it over it's here. It's very gingery, very lemony, but I love it personally. So talk about like this thing is starting to fill up. Like mm -hmm. at what point do you? Well, it actually isn't. Where is it? Oh, sure. Like, how do you know when to empty it? Um, I don't know. This one's the sun now. Okay, that's getting pretty full. All right. So at some point, you gotta empty the pulp out. So you can see it's just kind of collecting. Mm -hmm. In here. And it's really dry, which is a good thing because that's telling you that your juicer is getting almost all of the juice. You're getting the best bang for your buck. So, um, what you told me that you can actually use some of this? Yeah, stuff? I would definitely not throw this away. Um, one thing that farmers can do is they can use this compost. Mm -hmm. um, another thing, though, that um, is pretty common, people will take the vegetables and use them for making broth or stew. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really good. It's a really good. It adds a lot of flavor. I mean, you can get a lot of diversity in your flavor and your stew or your broth uh, just from from these. Just considering how many different ingredients you use. Um, but one thing that I'm very interested in, but I've never tried, is make, using this to make veggie burgers. Um, I have a friend who is looking to use what we use uh, of the leftovers to make uh, veggie burgers. Add it to your black beans um, and add some kind of binding agent, and I think mm. you have some really good uh, veggie yeah. burgers. It's an interesting thought. So this is really. We haven't actually read the instructions on how to clean this, so maybe there's a special way. <laughs> yeah, there might be a faster than is there. Is hands. this where so the sharpness is in there in yeah. the actual? There are some blades in there that you have to be careful yes. with. We are not working smart. We are working hard. Yeah, that should be. That's good. probably good enough, mm -hmm. right? We're not gonna. Okay, and then you gotta line these guys up again. Which oh, yeah. probably not gonna do. Uh, good. And then we yeah. lock it. Yeah. It took us a long time to figure out that you had to lock it. So it wasn't working. It okay. helps. Juicers can be a little dangerous, and the, the company's really smart. They actually make a lot of like precautions. Yeah. So this is the lemon. Oh, Let's, uh, that throw that in something thing. else, and sure. hopefully we can see here remember what it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> have a pure it's like ginger a mad apple science. Juice. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Labels might be nice. Okay. But like 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 I said earlier, eventually you're gonna get a hand of this, and you're just gonna throw everything in together and not have to worry about. And you'll figure out what your favorites are. This is sort of like making smoothies. Um, and that you've got a sort of a flavor profile that you're Speaking with. of smoothies, hello Chris K. Claypool Chris, joined do us. do you like my machine? <laughs> oh, isn't it awesome? You have, have you seen it work yet? It's super cool. So what's the difference between this and a smoothie? Speaking of smoothies, like why would someone choose to juice instead of just smoothie? So the really cool thing about juicing is the absorption of the nutrients. Um, 
there's no, next to no fiber in any of these juices, so your body can absorb the nutrients extremely efficiently um, within about 20 minutes, actually. That's why a lot of people that juice can like, get a boost, and it's also very easy on your digestive system. Like It's why a lot of people that juice glow, because when you're giving your body highly nutritious and easily digestible foods, and that's not just juice, but vegetables in general, um, your body can focus on working in other parts of your body, repairing skin, repairing hair, and, uh, and keeping your immune system healthy. So um, juicing is just a nice addition. I, people ask me all the time, should I eat this or drink this instead of my vegetables? And I always say no. Uh, eating your vegetables is definitely the best thing to do, but this is just a fun thing to throw in. It's an easy way to get rid of some of the things that you don't know what to do with. Like if you think beets are gross, juice them and drink them. Yeah, they're not. Eat, they're good. And they taste good. Even if you think they're gross, it's a lot easier to drink it than eat them. Yeah. So, you can always use things that you well, don't like. there's something to be said for fiber, yes. right? So yeah, absolutely. You need, you need the fiber, um, and you actually need um, the fiber at, pretty much afterwards to help digest everything, the, the juice included. Um, right. So definitely make sure you're getting sufficient fiber throughout your diet as, as well um, as protein. And um, these have a pretty good source of carbs too, so that uh, keep that in mind. And you can look up online uh, for people that... Uh, count their macros and stuff like that. You can look online uh, carb, sugar uh, intake for juice uh, based on like ounces and uh, our nutritional facts have it too so you can always use that as a baseline to understand about how much uh, carbs and sugar you're getting and our juices, our labels also have how much of each ingredient so for one you're welcome to copy that um, and two you can understand uh, about the proportions that result in a specific macros. Okay. So, All right, so now we're going to try and experiment with a green yes. smoothie, or a green juice. Yes, the greens are fun. Which means that everything you put into it is green. Yes, and this should be interesting because uh, greens are, they, they fight. Yeah. They, they fight back. Um, so depending on your juicer, greens might be very tolerant, and sometimes uh, they won't. So we'll see how this goes, and you're going to wish It's also not going to end up turning greens. Yeah, because we've got, well, yeah. we've got beets in there, so... <laughs> and um, just so. in general, almost all juicers are very tolerant of things that like can go through the chute easily. So celery and cucumber, you can always juice. Uh, it's the leafy greens that sometimes can fight back, so okay. uh, wish us some luck. So okay. should you want, you, would you want to like de-rib the, the kale? And pick, um, no, I would include the whole thing? stem, honestly. The yeah. stem is extremely nutritious, and it kind of helps force it through the feeder a little better, too. Mm, so. Okay. Let's give it a try with it. Alright, so do we want to start with the cucumbers first? Uh, yeah, let's like do that. Make the, is that. Because that's kind of the base, it's mm -hmm. got the most kind of a lot of juice. Yeah, uh, for the base on the green side, it, uh, cucumber is definitely a really good base. Uh, you, like I said, you get a good bang for your buck. It's, it yields a lot of juice, it tastes really good, and they're easy to juice. Um, but again, to your proportions, if you don't like cucumbers that much, then you can do equal amounts of all different kinds of greens, like kale and celery. You can always do some lettuce too. Mm. Um, I saw fennel mentioned. Yeah, I've seen fennel juice. I've never given it a try. I'm kind of scared. We're, uh, <laughs> we're thinking of it roasted, but I don't know. It's yes. really strong. Uh -huh. I have some. We could try it. We could try it. Yeah. All right, let's, All right do, so uh, let's do the cucumbers. Let's start with the cucumbers. So cucumbers, you can just throw them in. That's all you gotta do. We're using our little snack cucumbers. Which breaks my heart because they're delicious. <laughs> well, uh, the, the bigger ones, I didn't want to go out of All right, well, uh, we're just looking at our soon-to-be green juice that's probably going to be red. Much. He thinks it's going to be Oh, warm. yeah, and there's some more cucumbers here. So this is, we have six cucumbers. Let's see what we get. Here we go. 
It's yeah. like sweet apples and some cucumber. It does. It's delicious. I really like Adrena. I need ginger. Mm-hmm. Everything needs ginger. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's do it. I think it's the I one that looks like it's these. that one. Oh, yeah. It's or we could put lemon. Okay, both. All right. Just a little bit, though. Watch out. I hardly have anything in there. My family made this clear already. Your juice, your green oh. juices will be green. That was too much. <laughs> yeah, ours aren't because we started with a beat. If you're just Ooh. joining us, oh yeah, she's right. That's too much. much. All right, all right. So bleeding, yeah. we will throw the delicious cucumbers into the jar. Perfect. And then okay. we'll make some proportions. Of we'll make some big glasses. <laughs> all righty. Next up, we will do um, the celery. We're gonna start with the things that we know will go well, and then we'll wish us luck with the leafy greens. Uh, celery is also a very high yield item. Um, they're high water content, so that's really just what determines if you're going to get a lot of juice out of it. And they're very easy too because they're long and they're, they're firm, so that they don't really like bend too much or anything like that. So now this is not like the store stuff, which has more water in it. Right. Ours is not going to But at the same time, um, you'll, it'll be much more potent because it has less water. It'll be stronger, so you won't actually need as much mm -hmm. um, nutritionally and flavor wise. Okay. So uh, how are you going to do this? I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. I think you should turn it on first. All right. Wish us luck. We actually make a green juice, uh, I make a green juice, without celery, kale, or parsley, which is in our other green juice because they're so strong. Mm -hmm. Some people are just not very tolerant of greens, uh, so we make the ones that are with the softer greens, and same thing, uh, people that want to try to get some greens into their diet and they don't like them, definitely start with some of the softer ones like, uh, like cucumber, like um, lettuce, and then if you want to add some of the much more bitter mm -hmm. greens, for lack of a better word, like it's kale okay. and celery and parsley. Um, proceed cautiously, but I think you'll start to like them, and uh, you definitely won't want to use it often. So, uh, we'll just luck. Time for care. Yeah, I think it's a good point. All 
All right, so we've got two more things left. Right? We've got oh. the celery. Whoa. No? That's a lot of ginger. Oh. That's a lot of ginger. All right. It's not like ginger that much. So he's concerned about this core. Should I be concerned about that core? No. Don't do it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. You sure there's like, we don't have to clean the pulp out? No, I think we're good. Just like guys. So much. That's definitely licorice. Mm -hmm. I feel like I just drank licorice for a yeah, licorice. Uh -huh. Not feeling licorice. Well, again, we're going <laughs> to figure out for you guys. <laughs> it showed up in some of the things when I was researching online. It was one of the possibilities for the base. But yeah. We wouldn't recommend it. No. Nope. <laughs> All right. So then we're going to do parsley. So yes. this is a really strong one. Maybe you should just dump this one. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. It's just not very good, guys. All right. So last step is parsley. Another leafy green. Uh, a little difficult to juice and probably going to get next to no juice out of it, but it's extremely nutritious and it goes a long way. I mean, even if you got a lot of yield out of it and a 16 ounce juice, I mean, you're talking like a half an ounce of parsley. It's strong. And they'll tell you in the recipe, right? Like how yep. much to put in they say. Okay. Yeah. So this is a, a bunch and we'll see how much we get. And then you can figure it out after that right. um, for whatever proportions you're going to make. If you're going to make two 16 ounce juices and you want to use a half an ounce, uh, per juice, and you'll know whatever quantity to get you a full ounce of juice. Not very much. No, not very much. Uh, this this goes a long way. I mean, even even so, it's very little. This is probably all you would ever want to put into like a sixteen ounce green juice. Oh, because it's really mm -hmm. yeah, it's very strong. Another strong one. Yep. So now we can uh, make a nice little concoction here. Yeah. Um, so we have. So can we get one more? Yeah. Yes. That you want to drink out of? Or um, no, to mix in. So we'll start with the apples as the good base. Okay. Not too much of it though, or but just depending on your preference. So we we like them not too sweet. So we'll do. Mm, not really maybe like maybe like a, a fourth of the cup, and then we'll add our cucumber. And same thing, you could probably do almost the same quantity of cucumber, maybe a little bit less. And then we'll throw in the celery. Yep, celery. <laughs> Just smell it. Not too much, that's a strong one. I mean, that one you could probably put maybe an ounce into a pint. And then... Carrot, beet, lemon. Uh, let's do... Is that parsley? Is I think that was parsley. Yeah, that's yeah. parsley. We'll probably just dump the whole thing in there. And then... What else we got? The kale. Carrot, lemon, ginger. We have the kale. And meat. Oh, that must be this one. Yep. And kale, super strong as well, so not very much. And then a little bit of lemon. This better taste. Oh, that's ginger. <laughs> a little bit of lemon. Yep. Hopefully it maintains the greenness after this. A little bit, not too much. And, uh, so seriously, if you have kids, this would be really fun. Mm -hmm. Just for an afternoon of science. And, and the really fun part is making them drink it no matter what they have, because they're probably gonna mess up. Yeah. And it'll be fun it's kind it. of like jelly bellies, you know, where you have to, did you ever do that, where you eat different jelly bean flavors? Like you have the peanut butter. No, I was gonna take the pink ones, I just take the pink ones. <laughs> and like you combine different right, flavors well, in your mouth. We'll give this one a try. It's still green, so that's good. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can taste it all. Uh, it's it's quite green the way we made it, um, and we did oh, that. Oh, that's why you didn't add these two. Right, because you're making a green. Mm -hmm. Okay, got now it. some people do like to mix their beets into the greens. Uh, I think it's really good, but I just I don't know why. Just mentally, I like having a green juice or the yeah. juice. But this is, this is very good. good. Um, it's very green, which is the way I like my juices. Uh, as you saw, we put maybe this much apple, and the rest of it was greens. Um, if you want. To be sweeter, just add more apples to it. Yeah, I can actually, I can taste the celery, mm -hmm. and I, I can actually, the, the lemon really helps too. Yeah. 
Yeah, so. the parsley actually comes out quite a bit, yeah. and you guys all saw how little there was, and yeah. parsley strong. Wow, this is fun. This was great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. For yeah. your, is there, are there any questions, Kurt, from the audience? No question, but I have a question. Um, um, Storage-wise, how long will, would a fresh juice last in your fridge? Um, up, up to three days is your best bet. Um, ideally, you want to drink it within 24 hours because it, it'll taste the best and it maintains the highest uh, nutritional value of... Because of, the, the healthiest juice is to drink it like right now. This is when it's got, I mean, all of the nutrients in it. Yeah. And it just slowly starts to oxidate and loses uh, over time. So within three days is your best bet. If you make something that's on the more citric end, you might be able to push it to like four or five. Um, but otherwise, three is probably your best bet. Yeah. Cool. Well, you gave me a lot of dishes to do. <laughs> so that I don't do them. Thank you. <laughs> um, so tell everyone where people can learn more about your juice company. Uh, you can go to our website. It's midwestjuicery.com. Uh, or you can go to our Facebook page and Instagram. We have an awesome page. Um, a friend of mine named Jelly Johnson does it, and she's got an eye for some good pictures, some good content. She shares a lot of educational information about some of the benefits of the individual ingredients or when to drink juice or just whatever sounds good, whatever we learn every day. We just kind of share some information with you guys. Love, love it. Well, I learned a ton. I'm going to have fun experimenting. This was actually not as scary. I was intimidated by this machine. It's a pretty good control machine. It's pretty easy. Uh, it is going to be a bear to clean, though. I can just feel <laughs> it. Um, so I'm, I'm, I am planning on making some kind of a cheat sheet to go along with this now that I've learned how to make it. So just watch the comments of this video for that to appear in probably the next seven days. Thank you so much for all your expertise. This was a blast. It was my pleasure. I love juicing. All right. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye.